The UIW Cardinal football team got a late start to the season thanks to the coronavirus pandemic. However, this did not curb the desire by players and coaches to get back out on the field. To be preparing for a season in spring is, is a little bit surreal at times, but, uh, you know, really, I'm, I'm just happy for these kids to finally get an opportunity to go out and, and do what they love, and that's play football. And so if this pandemic's taught us anything, it's, uh, you know, not to take this for granted. The Cardinals kicked off the season against the McNeese State Cowboys, where their first touchdown came from a Cameron Ward pass to running back Caleb Ducros, who runs 35 yards to put them on the board. Following a McNeese field goal, the Cardinals get another scoring run in the form of a 100-yard kickoff return from defensive back Sikori Tolds. He manages to avoid several Cowboy defenders to make his way into the end zone, maintaining the UIW lead 14-3 at the end of the first quarter. Ward would continue the pass game as he throws a long pass to wide receiver Darian Chapin, who catches it in the perfect spot to easily run into the end zone, extending the lead further 24-3 in favor of the Cardinals. Another pass would give the Cardinals their fourth touchdown of the game as wide receiver Jalen Campbell has a clear path in front of him to give them the 31-3 lead over the Cowboys. The Cowboys would manage to score a touchdown of their own in the third quarter, but UIW had already made its case for the win. In the fourth, Ward would pass to open tight end Roger McCuller, who was in the end zone for the catch. In the final minute of the game, quarterback Kevin Yeager would run 42 yards to the McNeese six-yard line, and on the following play, running back Amir King is there for the catch in the end zone to end the game with UIW winning 48-20. Moving along to UIW's game against Lamar University, running back Kevin Brown runs 66 yards straight into the end zone to tie the game early seven apiece. Later in the first, UIW scores again with the connection between Cameron Ward and Kevin Brown, again who catches a 20-yard pass in the end zone to give them the 14-7 lead. After a touchdown and field goal by Lamar to regain the lead, the Cardinals score again on a catch from wide receiver Darian Chafin to take back the lead 21-17 at the end of the second. Cameron Ward would score a touchdown of his own on a one-yard run in the third quarter to extend the lead. Late in the third, Kevin Brown hops over a Lamar defender for a first down and more. On the following play, Ward passes to an open Robert Farrell who catches it and makes it into the end zone giving them a 35 to 20 lead heading into the fourth. The final scoring play of the game came mid fourth quarter where Ward would complete a 21 yard pass to Jalen Campbell in the end zone. The Cardinals would later intercept a Lamar pass to seal the deal and win the game with the final score of 42 to 20. The last game of the first half of the season was played against the Southeastern Louisiana Lions, where the Cardinals scored a first quarter touchdown to tie the game seven apiece early on. Down 13-7 in the second quarter, Cameron Ward throws a pass to wide receiver Trey Wolf, who catches it for a 59-yard run down to the Southeastern one-yard line. Ward would run it in to make it 14-13 Cardinals. Later in the second, Kevin Brown gets the ball and avoids the pileup to go 75 yards and into the end zone for a UIW touchdown. Fast forward to the late third quarter, Cardinals up big when Ward throws a 42-yard pass to Darian Chapin, who is in the end zone in time to make the catch and score. The Lions would score three touchdowns in the third and fourth quarters, but would fall short as they would lose the game. The Cardinals would end this part of the season with a perfect 3-0 record. The Cardinals hit the road to take on the Nichols State University Colonels on March 27th. Down 14-7 in the first quarter, UIW quarterback Cameron Ward would complete a pass to wide receiver Robert Farrell for 52 yards to the Nichols 33-yard line for a first down. Later in the drive, Ward would pass the ball to running back Kevin Brown, who runs 22 yards for a touchdown, tying the game 14 apiece. In the second quarter, the Cardinals are down by 10 when Cameron Ward has another completion to Robert Farrell for six yards and a touchdown, narrowing the gap 24 to 27. That would be the closest margin of the game. Late in the third quarter, Nichols leads big time when UIW finds themselves near the red zone. Ward would pass to an open Jaden Jones who runs 30 yards to score for the Cardinals. Early in the fourth quarter, UIW would score again on another pass to Robert Farrell, who lands in the end zone, making the score 37-68 Nichols. 
On their next drive, running back Caleb Ducros would catch a 23-yard pass from Cameron Ward to score for the Cardinals. Robert Farrell would successfully score on the two-point conversion that followed this play. It would be too little too late for UIW as Nichols would easily win with the final score of 75 to 45. On April 10th, the UIW Cardinal football team hosted the Northwestern State Demons. The Demons started off hot with an opening drive touchdown as quarterback Bryce Rivers threw a quick pass to wide receiver LeVar Gums. The Cardinals would counter with a touchdown of their own after quarterback Cameron Ward connects with wide receiver Robert Farrell for a 23-yard run to tie the game 7-7 early on. After turning the ball over on downs their first possession of the second quarter, the Cardinals bounce back with a punt return of 60 yards courtesy of Robert Farrell, putting them at the Northwestern 15-yard line. A few plays later, Ward would pass the ball to running back Kevin Brown, who brings it into the end zone on a one-yard run for the Cardinals' touchdown, closing the gap 17-16 mid-second quarter. Ward would continue the pass game, this time throwing a pass to wide receiver Darian Chafin, who takes it 29 yards to the Northwestern three-yard line. Going into the second half, Rivers throws a 38-yard pass to wide receiver Javon Antonio, who easily catches it in the end zone tying the game yet again at 23 apiece after a failed two-point conversion attempt by the Demons. Late in the third quarter, running back Kevin Brown has the ball and turns on the Jets to go 53 yards for a Cardinals touchdown, giving them the lead 30-26. to In the fourth quarter, Ward throws a pass to Robert Farrell who is in the right place as he makes the connection in the end zone, making it 37-26 to Cardinals. The Demons would go on to score three consecutive touchdowns, including this one, to regain the lead 46-40. The Cardinals would score a last-minute touchdown to give themselves a one-point lead, but it would not stop until the game was over. Eddie Godina's 32-yard winning field goal sealed the deal for the Demons as they win 49-47. On April 17th, the UIW Cardinal football team hosted the Sam Houston State Bearcats. UIW would gain possession of the ball in the late second, where Cameron Ward would complete a pass to wide receiver Robert Farrell for six yards to the Sam Houston one-yard line. Ward would pass to Trey Wolf, who would bring it in for the first UIW touchdown, making it 14-7 Bearcats. The Cardinals would follow up with the eight-yard touchdown pass of their own to wide receiver Jaden Jones, who makes it into the end zone, trimming the Bearcat lead 21-14. The UIW defense would prove its effectiveness as they would have a couple of successful plays, including a Sam Houston fumble, which they recover, and a drop back to send the Bearcats back down the field. The Cardinals were unable to find the end zone in its final two drives of the game and the Bearcats remain undefeated on the season at a perfect 6-0 while the Cardinals would drop to 3-3 with a 1-2 record at home. The final score was Sam Houston State 42, UIW 14.